Hey everybody, and welcome to the play of the game After Effects template tutorial. What I'll be going over is how to edit these compositions so you can use them in your videos. So the first one is going to be the play of the game title, where it's going to say play of the game, which you can change to a different like, highlight or whatever it may be, you can change each of these to suit your particular video that you that you are wanting to make. There's going to be a couple layers that I want to point out. There's this free template, which is going to be your primary edit layer for the orange text here, or the yellow text, which adds a bit of glow to, to the layer here. So free template. And it kind of makes this glow, kind of overlay, animates onto these, this layer. Um, to change the text here, all you have to do is double click on free template or the free template text layer and change it to your name or someone's name. Then this layer will automatically update to whatever this layer is changed. If I turn this layer off, you can see how it automatically changes. So if I double click on this again, it's changing to match this layer. So these two layers, and then there's this layer, which is this text here. You need to change this to something else. You have a little bit more control as to what goes here and what goes on this layer. So name here too. So this is the secondary name. So like this would be the person's character they were playing. The awesome guy as gun guy. I don't know. Something. There's one thing you need to be aware of. If you double click on this layer and then start typing, it's going to start overlapping with this other text layer. So you have to be careful where this has a few spaces in front of it. Just kind of push this to the side. Have to click on it and then click the letters one by one. On it. Pretty much how these text layers work or this composition works. Uh, there's going to be two different types of animations. There's this one where it transitions in by some motion blur coming or moving away from the camera and then kind of zooming in and kind of animating sideways and then moving off the screen. Then the purple layer or the purple layers are just going to have this simple animate animate in a little bit and just kind of just keep moving and kind of scaling up and that's it so to change it just double click same as the ones before then there's the play of the game then there's the as right here and then the name here you can kind of scroll over it if you need to see which one if you click on here it'll show right here the next Composition is the eliminated, eliminated text, which goes at the bottom of the screen. How I made this one is very simple. All you have to do is change the text here. There's a gap between the 100 and the flame emblem. And then depending on the size or how long your name is, so if you're, if the name was a lot longer, the game. So if your name goes way past the size, you just press scale, scale it down. And then only select this layer. This layer is pick whipped to this layer. So whatever you change with this layer, 
will happen to this layer. So what this layer is, is a background layer for the emblem. You can turn off the black background. Kind of has that black outline. You turn that off, turn it on. Yeah. So if you need to scale this one down, move it. Scale with top layer. Bring down a ruler. Then once you have this done, um, just press composition, save frame as, file. Because this is not an animated composition, all you have to do is say Photoshop, PNG sequence, RGB plus alpha, and press OK. Once you have that image, you can go to into your video editor and overlay that on your video footage. Scale it down so it fits just in the bottom region. Now we have the end logo white background. So I made a couple different backgrounds for the end. So on your YouTube page, you can have your logo or the logo at the end for the game Overwatch. And then it will scroll down. Then once these are revealed, you can put a link on the end of your YouTube page, like a link box around these, so the viewers you have on your YouTube page can click and watch your other videos. To change these videos, it is very easy. Play the game one and play the game two compositions is where you will change the videos. So if I take this uh, end screen black, drop it in, turn off this layer, so it's now changed. If I go back to the end white, it will update. So there's the Overwatch video there. And it will also update in the black video or the black logo or the black background scene. Turn on the compositions here. Now it's also updated on the composition in the black comp. want to change the look, the Overwatch logo, change the text here, plays of the game, maybe you want something else. This does require element 3D. The play of the game text right here, you need to change it to your channel's name or whatever it may be to suit your videos that you're going to be putting in these two slots here you can change that. So if we need to change it to what True Play Studios. So now you have your channel's name there instead of plays of the game. So if you need to change this text, all you have to do is change this text layer right here. Now, if you want to change the color of this text background, from a white to a different color, or change the Overwatch color for the title here, as well as these orange glow lights here. All you have to do is go into Element 3D, go to Scene Setup, then this right here will change the color of the text. So if I want to change it to a teal or a blue color, And then for the text there, then the Overwatch logo, change it to a blue, oh, bright light, here we go. Illumination, change this to a blue, oh, I keep forgetting to press OK. Click here, change this also to a blue, Let me get that too close. And then, Ray, this is your background to the you need to change the color slow again. Get dark. 
Okay. Now, then, if you do change the colors like this, and you see this happen, what this is doing is making these compositions here, play the game one and play the game two, have a shadow, a real-time shadow. So you do need to change this here, so these will work correctly. Unless you don't want the shadows, you can easily turn off the comp background shadow layer, which will turn off the shadows. But if you wanted to change so it suits this, you have to change the background or the composition's color to match the background here. So if you take the layer, solid settings, click this color, press OK. Should be close. Yeah, you still get this line here. So to get around that, what you could do is create a mask around the layer. Take the mask feather, open it up, and then the max mask expansion down. I need to change the color so I can see the change. There we go. So if I, I'll Turn the feather down to zero so we can see. So the expansion drew the expansion inwards, and what the feather does is softens the layer so we can get that blue. We go back to solid settings, click on the color that matches or closely matches here, press OK. That's how you get rid of that. So if you want to keep the shadows or the real time shadows for these compositions, Steps on any color you change to the background. A cool way on why you would change the colors of these lights here and on the logo is that if you wanted to do it for a specific character, maybe you played D.Va and had a play of the game with that character, you can just go back change this and these lights here to a pink to match the character's color. And likewise with all the other characters. So it depends on the look you're kind of going for. The same with the black here. Pretty much identical to this one, just a different color. So if you, This is aimed more if you want a little bit more lighting effects on the letters here, as well as the background here. Now the background I have for this is from the Shaders Pack from Video Copilot, Shaders 2 Pro. If you do not have this background, you will have to add your own or just have a flat color. And I can show you what it would look like. We go into Scene Setup, and if you don't have these, Physical, the Physical Shaders is what comes with Element 3D, put this black glossy on there. So if you want like a sharp mirror of the logo here, we can have that. But we tend to get a little bit more reflections than you may want. Specifically the these lines here in the spherical reflection map. So if we go back to the Element 3D, the environment that it's set on could be this one here, basic 2K05. We kind of get those lines up there. If you like how the color looks, but don't want a mirror-like surface, click on the material here. Go to the glossiness, and just turn the glossiness down. What that will do is blur the background. Then that will turn this down and give you more of a textured surface for the lights to react to. It kind of adds detail and personality. And same thing if you wanted to change the color of these here, here, and here. The orange parts of the logo. 
Just go to the bright light, change it to, let's say, green. Maybe we're doing it for Genji, another character. And then the bright light is for the logo here. Press OK, and it will update. We're like, uh-oh, now we have something that we don't want, though. These are not reflecting the right color. That's because that these lights are not green that are in the composition. Added these lights to kind of add a little bit more realism and shadows. You can kind of see shadows behind the letters here. So to change these lights, just select them. Press AA. Bring up light three. Take the eyedrop tool. Click on the green. It will update. Same with this one, AA, color, scroll up, or in the timeline, go to the beginning, so you can select this light here, AA, select, that way all the lights around the logos are giving off the right light, so you can kind of get these reflections here, here. And now we have an Overwatch styled logo for a character. Now, if you don't have Element 3D, you won't be able to customize it like I did here as much. You will be able to change the color by a curves adjustment or a change color. But how you're able to do it is if you go back to your project, I've included these two mp4s which are just the background so if we take if we turn off element 3d bring in the end screened white composition and put it underneath the comp background shadow layer which is this one now this is just a video which you can scrub through go down we do need to fix that background because it's not the blue, it is the white. There we go. So now we have this. We take off the two compositions. It's the video is literally just logo scrolling down, plays of the game. Positions back on. The videos you can change. All you have to do is here, change it, and it goes the same with the black. So I have a black one here with a black background. And all you have to do is go to the end black logo background, turn off at the element 3D layer, and drag this black screen underneath the shadow layer. Now the shadows have been turned off, so if you want the shadows on, all you have to do is turn that layer on, but since it's really, really dark, you won't even be able to see the shadows. So to save rendering time, just turn that layer off, unless you change the background color. That layer is there for you if you do need to change some colors in the background. So for now, since this is just completely black, you don't really see it, just turn that off. That pretty much wraps up this tutorial. If there's anything else, uh, any other questions, please feel free to comment, and I'll try to answer them as quickly as possible. And uh, have fun using these in your videos.